Hi guys, welcome to Rajshri Food. This is the Bombay chef Varun Amdar and today let's make an iconic recipe from the land of Punjab. It's ma ki dal. Yes, you heard it right. It's ma ki dal and not ma ki dal as we all commonly call it. And this comes from the addition of this ingredient which is red kidney beans. In India, we also call this rajma and that's where the name comes from. One of the many differences between a ma ki dal and a dal makhani is a ma ki dal uses rajma as one of the primary ingredients whereas the dal makhani is completely made with black lentils both these ingredients need to be washed nicely soaked overnight or at least 8 to 10 hours we need to drain this pressure cook it for 12 to 15 whistles or till it's nice and mushy which i've already done here this is how we want it to look nice mushy and absolutely well cooked the dal is cooked and ready let's move to prep the other ingredients which is the onion chilies and tomatoes next a few chilies as per your liking and finally some tomatoes The ingredients are cut and ready. Let's begin with a little bit of ghee in a pan. With this, I also like using a little bit of oil. Allow this to heat on moderate flame. Once the ghee gets hot, I'll add in some cumin seeds. Once this starts crackling, I'll add in a little bit of ginger garlic paste and give this a quick mix. Once this gets cooked till nice and golden in color, I'll be adding in the chopped onions and chilies. Allow this to cook till it gets nice and translucent. Once the onions are done, let's add in the tomatoes and give it a nice mix. A quick few stirs and let's add in the masalas. Some red chili powder followed by turmeric powder. salt as required and finally garam masala powder give this a mix make sure the raw taste of the masala is completely gone this could take anywhere between 3 to 5 minutes of good stirring make sure the masala does not stick to the bottom of the pan and constantly keep stirring this you can reduce the flame and while the masala is continue cooking we can take this dal and start mashing it with the back of the spoon this is the step that actually adds in to the creaminess of this dal because there's no butter and no cream in this dal once the dal is mashed and ready let's transfer this to the pan With this, ma ki dal is ready. This dal goes amazingly well with steamed rice, roti, or naan. Do try this at home and wait for what next. The Bombay chef gets into your kitchen.